Hello friends, welcome to this video on number systems. In the previous video, we discussed rationalization of the denominator of fractions. Now, we will solve some questions based on the same topic. So let's start. Rationalize the denominators of the given fractions. Friends, all we have to do is find out which digit should be used to multiply the denominator so that the denominator turns from irrational to rational number. And this is not a difficult task. We can do it easily by using the numbers and identities given in the denominator. Let's take the first question. 11 by 3 root 6. Here, if we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by root 6, we will get the numerator as 11 root 6 and the denominator will be 3 multiplied by 6 is equal to 18. And now, the fraction will be 11 root 6 by 18 Here, we can also multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3 root 6. But the only difference is that this method of solving is lengthier. Let's move to the next question. 1 by root 2 plus 3. Here, we will multiply the numerator and denominator by root 2 minus 3, which belongs to this identity. Here, when the numerator is multiplied by 1, the number will remain the same and the denominator will become root 2 square minus 3 square is equal to 2 minus 9 is equal to minus 7. Therefore, after rationalization, the number will be root 2 minus 3 by minus 7, which can also be written in this way. Now, let's move to the next question. 7 by 8 minus 5 root 3. Even though this question may be different from the previous question, but here also we will use the same identity and multiply the numerator and denominator by 8 plus 5 root 3. We have to take care that if the denominator is in the form of a plus root b, then we have to multiply by a minus root b. And if it is in the form of a minus root b, then we have to multiply by a plus root b. Here, the numerator 7 will be multiplied by these two numbers, 7 multiplied by 8 plus 7 multiplied by 5 root 3. So, in the numerator, we will get 56 plus 35 root 3 and in the denominator, we will get 8 square minus 5 square multiplied by 3 is equal to 64 minus 25 multiplied by 3, which is 64 minus 75 is equal to minus 11. So here, the denominator has been rationalized and the fraction will be 56 plus 35 root 3 by minus 11, which can also be written in this way. And now let's take the last question root 2 by root 5 minus root 2. Friends, in our question so far, the numerators in the fractions were rational numbers. However, in this question, it is an irrational number. But it should not be an issue because we only have to pay attention to the denominator. What is the form of the denominator here? Root A minus root B. Now, can you guess which identity we will use here? Yes. Here, we will use this identity root a plus root b multiplied by root a minus root b is equal to a minus b. Pause the video and try to solve it. The answer to this question will be as follows. Friends, that is all for this session. In this video, we have solved some questions related to rationalization of the denominator. See you in the next video with some more questions based on this topic. Thank you.